do you guys have one of those days in which you return home after watching a French Japanese animated film that's only having a limited release, only to find out that uh, your garage is flooded? Um, no, but I've returned home from a day at a um, place of commerce to find my dwelling has been flooded completely, or at least my personal dwelling, so take that as you will. Well, I guess we are flooding brothers, that's supposed or to be something. A, that's supposed to be the year Flooders! Of- this must be the year of the flood or something, because I swear an artist I watch basically said that they uh, had a flooding in their bathroom as of last week. Well, what the incident I was referring to happened years and years ago, so it's not reasonable. Yeah, well, the incident I'm referring to happened this very day. Oh, gosh. Well, I so... hope you didn't lose anything important. Uh, we'll see about that. It's mostly stuff Uh-oh. that does not belong to us. It has been put there by other people, and they promised that they would have taken that stuff away months and months ago. So this is really on them. So it's karma. Got it. Karma. Yep, good old karma. Thank you for that. But still, hope nothing Uh, bad happens. Yeah, well, not really, because uh, these people I'm referring to are the people I'm actually working with. Oh. (laughs) Oh. Well, Well, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, hopefully that will go well. But... Need more explosions. Speaking of explosions in the more metaphorical sense, although I wouldn't exclude a more literal sense, we have a fun fiction to read, and we have been meaning to read this for quite a while, so f- for that purpose, we are skipping this you week's mean, podcast. You've been meaning, meaning to read it for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been meaning to drag you both into this. So, <laughs> like I said, we are skipping My the podcast. Day. We are skipping I'm the podcast. We are skipping the damn podcast this week. Let me finish my stupid sentences. <laughs> damn it. Like your sentence and... is stupid and it's made of poop. <laughs> okay, Ross, leave Apple Lesnar out of this recording, please. <laughs> yes. She will not welcome <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, I, mean, again, I can't believe you stuck with the last name. At least, it, at least it's not. At least it's not fetus taster. <laughs> yes. Oh, About that, it's a campaign that we did. Yeah. Yes, I don't have the random word generator up. So good. Just good. So anyway, chapter five of Tales and Sonic awaits us. And if you recall, with last time sometimes it sounds like. Any random word generator. <laughs> huh. Anyway, so last time something horrible was implied to happen, something terrible was made clear it would happen, and uh, our trio of unlikely main characters has to do something to save a bunny from a uh, weasel. I G6! Guess. Six in um, rabbit years. <laughs> uh, we had this extensive <laughs> argument last time. We should not reprise it. Let's begin. Yes. I'm starting reading. Let's go. Okay, chapter five of Tales and Sonic starts with dialogue exchanges. And we actually know who say those dialogues for a change. Yeah, because I actually took a red ahead and I know whose is this is. Yes, you know this is this. That's good. <laughs> so, um, Ross, you should be Amy Ross, because it's Ross. You cannot spell Amy Ross without Ross. Yes, you can, because I have two S's in my name, and there's only one S. <laughs> I said, uh, I said spell, not write. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Just read that stupid line! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, your, your, your logic is losing me, but anyway. It seems that we got another mystery at hand. Said that chubby nerdy version of Amy Ross. Who is probably the most cutest of the lot. <laughs> it was a gruesome case. A little bunny girl has been kidnapped by a raving werewolf, dude! 
yeah, let's go have a totally sweet rave party with werewolves <laughs> and vampires, bro. You're all invited. Yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless. <laughs> Whoa, slow down there, Maurice. <laughs> Luckily, the notorious gang of the Freedom Machine was already on it. Is it too obvious it's a Scooby-Doo reference? Yeah, uh, Yeah, it's incredibly obvious. Boys, I've got a plan! <laughs> Said a blonde-haired, hyper-muscled Knuckles. It's well, if you take away the blonde hair, I guess it would be Sonic Boom Knuckles. It's you know, me, yeah. <laughs> this fan fiction predicted the future almost. <laughs> Espio and Tails will have to attract the monster into the lethal cliff over there, then jump in it and die. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm taking this. Good plan, Naki. 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 No, no. <laughs> it sounds like the name of a snack. <laughs> Oh, Get your Nucky Crunch Bar! Mmm, delicious! Delicious Nucky! <laughs> Ask this nerd, he loved his Nucky, right, Ross? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, Nucky. Screen that enthusiastic red haired Blaze while fixing her mascara. Simple and effective, unlike your usual plans. Mm <clears> hmm, <throat> replied the geeky Amy. <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh gosh. We do yeah. not agree. Declared a shaggy looking and talking Espio. So I break his gimmick for the sake of a joke. Good yeah. job, me. Yeah, yeah this, is, this sounds like a great job. Uh, uh, not agree. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's more like, uh, uh, not agree. Uh, uh. <laughs> a doggy like oh. Tails pointed out. Amy smirked. Will you do it for a foxy snack? Oh my. <laughs> she proposed, oh my. <laughs> she proposed taking a stog neck box out of nowhere. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Went the two unwilling baits. And for two foxy snacks? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, what have I done? This is the worst thing. Yes. After eating the reward in ellipsis, the obnoxious Popeye theme song started playing and their respective biceps turned into giant warships while the American flag appeared from behind their back for no logical reason. It's a fiction! My gosh! <laughs> It's a cartoon drug fest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let me tell you, this rave party sure has some heavy drugs circling around. Apparently. Done. The now super strong duo with a whole new warrior outfit uh, looked in the direction of the cliff, then to each other's, then to the cliff again, and finally yelled, For Sparta! <laughs> I want to take 2008 me and throw him down a cliff. <sighs> oh, God. And then Dumbly ran right into the cliff before anyone could say, this is madness. I ever feel like as if you lost a few years of your life? <laughs> yes, all the time. At this point, Amy woke up, <laughs> and the paragraph broke, so... Wow, what a dream. What's a Popeye, anyway? Uh, I don't know! You dreamt of it! You tell me! Again, Ross, you read. Continue, Ross. What, so for the um, narration? Narr yeah, narration, yes. too. We take it in turns. Okay, sorry. It has been a month. Cosmo's death affected the FF life in more ways than anyone could ever imagine. Her departure has been the sad proof... That they were not perfect. Sad proof, and you they mean? <laughs> save everybody. Yeah, you know, uh, this sacri sentence is the sad proof that uh, this story is not perfect. <laughs> the sacrifice saved the entire planet. What did they do instead? They ran they away. They ran they away from danger. They ran away hoping to survive. 
each and every one of them, except Tails and Knuckles. Cowards, vile, stupid, and worthless, now entering the edge zone. <laughs> so, the edge zone is littered with ellipses. So many of them. Yeah, it's like a minefield of ellipses. Just the way they looked in the pink hedgehog's dream. Guilt was a feeling in which Amy was not accustomed to. Explosion! No. You know, since it's a minefield of ellipses, there is an explosion <laughs> every time you come across oh, okay. them. <laughs> it was like an army of carnivore termites devouring her guts. Explosion! Slowly. <laughs> that is a really odd metaphor. <laughs> yeah, you know, every once in a while I come up with really weird analogy for no other reason than for just pure flavor. And the flavor usually is not that great to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> Little the Great Lake warm temperature did to heal in those sorrows. Explosion! What a sensation. What was she, like sleeping in the lake? <laughs> Uh, no, she was bathing in the lake. What, too complicated? Well, well, it could, but, but, it, it, it could answer... But she just woke up from a dream! <laughs> it, Ross, Ross, it foreshadows Sonic and the Black Knight with Amy being the Lady of the Lake. It <laughs> most Please. certainly does not. <laughs> Especially since it was coming out in that period, more or less. Uh, you know, I have been very patient... What? The calm Pacific waters. Can you can you repeat that? The the calm Pacific waters. Um, water, I should say. Um, you know, Pacific is an ocean, like like I that's know. not a lake. Here's the thing: Pacific Ocean. If you translate it in my language, Pacific uh, essentially means peaceful. Hence my uh, conundrum here. Ah. Uh. Mm. Okay, so basically you're trying to go for a peaceful water, but you uh, corrupted it to Pacific instead. I've, uh, yes, I now, it. it's, and now it's a sea, so hooray! <laughs> Ocean, damn it. The calm, the same peaceful thing. water gently penetrates... I am more concerned about the fact that the water is trying to penetrate her, because apparently everything and everyone in this damn story is trying to have their ways with Amy. So the calm Pacific water gently penetrated her fur, touching her skin, her hips, her breasts. <laughs> yes, Matt Hogg said that. He wrote this. Okay. In my defense, when people bathe, they are usually naked. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad I didn't read this part because I would have been so. I, I'm actually. I regret not having you reading this. Oh, gosh. oh, and by the way, explosion, explosion, explosion! Explosion of hips! <laughs> so many ellipses, and in between skin, hips, and breasts, too, so that's perfect. You know, normally, without this context, I would be fine with those words in my readings, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's Sonic, isn't it? Remember when you were a Sonic fan? <laughs> yeah, I never got into that section as a fandom. Yeah, well, uh, me neither, but I, I don't know why this is here, honestly. I don't remember the context for thinking this would be a good idea. Well, then, then again, I don't remember the context for thinking attempted rape was a good idea for drama. Well, let's put it this way. Out of the three of us, I have been in that section of the Sonic fandom. Oh, wow. You? Yeah. Vanilla Man the Varark Varon? Yes. <laughs> For, okay. For, for, uh, that's, uh, for, for weird purposes, but I'm not going to say why. Why are you talking about this? <laughs> I don't okay, know. So moving on. Um, so peaceful and delightful. Right now, she was half a way immersed. She let out a soft moan. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> If I didn't know any better, Mad Hog, this is like you you were trying to make this the gateway to go into that fandom. <laughs> I hope this was not someone else's gateway. Hopefully this will be a getaway. Carry on, Ross. It's been a week since her last visit to this mystical place in the center of the ruins. She took the habit of doing so at least twice a week. It was her special moment. God damn it! 
I am so disturbed by this. I'm not even counting the explosions anymore. She relaxed. It was quite a sight for her secret observer. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, out loud. Of course, this would have to be a scene right out of an exploitation film from the 1930s. And a secret a loud noise. Ellipses. Now he was a secret gnome. Because now he was singing a song about uh, water and fire by Rammstein. <laughs> oh, there are too her many lungs ellipses. Cease the work for an instant. There are well, too many ellipses. Well, there are way too many ellipses, even for my old standards. There are way too many ellipses. There are more ellipses than words. <laughs> Is this like your version of a dramatic <laughs> she, pause? Yes! She felt it. A gloved head on her shoulder, behind her, in the water. <gasps> Fire! She turned her head at lightning speed. <laughs> oh, then no! Then she realized. It was him. He was back. Her harasser. The source of her sense of insecurity and vulnerability. Shadow was back, and he was kissing her in the water. Fire and she and was naked. Uh oh Oh no, she was naked. Shenanigans. Oh boy. Oh boy. He spoke first. Call me Suzanne. <laughs> oh no, shut up. No, no, no. Stop. This is not a musical. <clears throat> uh -huh. Fancy little place for having some fun, isn't it? A last full... Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> That's the narration. <laughs> okay, Shadow narrates the story now. A last full smear that appeared on his face. What follows uh, next? What follows... Wasn't... Yeah, okay. It's like, what followed next wasn't something that could have been explained by simple words. Oh, try! Um, um, I'm sure you so can. So I'll use ellipses um, to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Let's ellipsis, just say ellipsis. that involved a shock naked girl, a giant warhammer, a head, and cliche fireworks explosions. Explosions of ellipses! <laughs> How dare you, you... Maniac! You're a maniac! Maniac! On the flake! I guess. <laughs> and you sell me no Amy musicals. Left the, Amy okay, left repeat. the apparently unconscious body of the ultimate pervert form. That's awkward. In the warm water and quickly lived her dress. She put good. on her bra and panties. Not Did good! You really have to say that. I guess I, I was did. about to enter the usual red outfit when... Oh boy. Leaving already. We didn't even start yet. He was there. Wet. <laughs> nasty. Looking and hungry for more. God damn it. What the heck? Oh, no. What is this? What is this chapter? Probably whatever Shadow has, it was nasty. <laughs> did you reread this? Yes! Did, did, did you make sure I was here because you reread this? It was like, oh, Ross has to read this. No, I did like, not remember any of this. He has to read this. <laughs> I did not remember any of this. I swear to chaos. <sighs> oh, man. Staring at her physique with his bloody eyes. More like physics. Physique is, <laughs> yes, physique is spelled wrong. Physique is spelled wrong. I, I knew what you were going for, at least. If I pointed out every single misspelling, we'd be here quite literally No, 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 you have, to, you, I, have, you have to read it as it's written. <laughs> so, and, so then it's like... This is a Ray Moon fights bad guys of a darkness. <laughs> I think we can let a few slides. Thank you for uh, saying that this is better than Raymo versus the bad guys of Adirkness. I appreciate that. Apparently, yeah. However, um, as far as your amusement factor, Raymo has you beat all the way. <laughs> well, well, duh. Okay, Ross, carry on. <laughs> she gasped. He laughed. She got angry. He stopped laughing. She took her hammer. He entered his fighting stance. This seems like a scene out of a terrible hentai film. But the way it's written here, it makes it sound like they're having a romantic, erotic water fight. Um, Something like it. She it's, attacked it's while yelling a cry. 
swinging her weapon at her fiend, left and right, right and left. He simply sidestepped her a few times before the kill. Figuratively, of course. Aww. Thank you. Yes, thank you for clarifying that. I would have not been able to understand that otherwise, because everybody knows that readers are ship. They need to be herded. Surpassing her defenses and knocking her on the ground like in a STO like maneuver. I don't even know what you're talking about. An it's STO a is a wrestling it's maneuver. A, it's a wrestling maneuver. Look it up. Okay, I'm not familiar with the STO, but okay. Um, her landing was rough. Her head quills were a total mess. And sh- she had a few scratches here and there. I'm surprised. Oh, what? You're not he fun- was now on top of her. Stop. And, he- and here <laughs> I. Is- no, no. And here- does not want. And here I thought, you, Roz, that you know what a Canadian destroyer is, and- but yet you don't know what an STO is? <laughs> Are we still talking yeah, about that? It? Well, it's better than what Rob <laughs> Ross is going to go on about. So, yeah, would you mind yes, rereading yes. that, Ross? He was now on top of her. Explosion! Uh, oh, God. Young eye. Explosion! Body on body. Explosion! The gang here was way too near. Explosion. And smiling. That seductive smile. Oh, no, oh, don't boy. say seductive. Okay, say your terrible, terrible thing to try to defend this smut. She was at his mercy, unable to move, or even to cry. Her emerald eyes were forced to melt into his menacing, yet intriguing, into the menacing, yet intriguing gaze of her persecutor. You know. Explosion! <laughs> You know, Explosion, my friend Explosion, I still don't know your name. She paused for a few seconds during her options. After seeing that she didn't have any, she responded, I'm Amy. Amy, an amusing sweet name, the name of a good girl. I like it. Uh, you, he simply you... replied. <laughs> You can tell Ross wants to get past this whole bit. <laughs> oh my god, this why is so don't bad. You just get this Why don't you just get this over with? <laughs> if all you want is to rape me, why don't you just do it? <clears throat> this has gotten so much worse. I did not think it could be possible for it to get this bad. But it's getting worse. Oh my god. <sighs> the dregs of... The levels of dregs of humanity that you were at this point in time. If I could travel back in time, I would slap you about four times. I would hold myself still so that you could do that. If I was there, I would have Ross <laughs> help me commit a commit Canadian destroyer to past you. <laughs> Let's see. He smiled even more while softly caressing her cheek. Bad touch. Bad touch. Well, that should be clear by now. I love messing with you. Is this a cute way of saying it? <laughs> I hope uh, not. I don't think there is anything Nanky cute kissed... about this. That's why I said no. it in a Nanky sarcastic way. Lips again, this time with his tongue in the first line. So he briefly tried to resist to fight back, ellipses, but she simply couldn't and then accepted it. Ross, do you want to skip all this? We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. The mouths were fused together. Fusion ha! Uh, The tongues uh, being a good time inside them, playing with each other. uh, Uh, Shadow's hand was now slipping towards her lower zone. Oh, God. No, why? I don't know. I want to. Privates. uh, She stood still. Waiting, crying internally, just like me. I hate to you know, say this, guys, but this makes me want to, you know, throw up a bit. You know, you know, uh, when, when I picture their tongues playing with each other, I imagine a scene in which a tongue is like, hey, do you want to go to the amusement park? Oh yeah, let's go to the roller coaster. Yay! Roller coaster, have fun day eating cotton candy. Uh, Riding the 
the, the freaking uh, um, merry-go-round, having a good time, having a good time. No, no. that's it. No. Right the movie. There's no times to be had here. No. You have okay. killed it. I tried. I tried. I desperately tried to make this lighthearted. I could not. I, Nobody. Man, can. Dog, do you remember what happened last time with Apple when it was made lighthearted? <laughs> yeah, you know, I wish I could forget. You know, when I wrote this, I was an edgy, a lonely college kid with no friends and a terrible opinion of humanity and uh, basically completely immature. Uh, when you came up with that character, it was only a few weeks ago. <laughs> so what's your ex- what's your excuse? Well, I have no excuse, but on the other hand, I also managed to salvage it. And in addition, yes, which I also begin- did yes. not roleplay any of that nonsense. It's good. You use the power of retroactive continuity. Yeah. To be fair, I also managed to um, do it in a way that actually didn't have to be a retcon. Yes, okay. Mm-hmm. The- okay, let's carry on. Can we actually skip the, the, the spoken dialogue? <laughs> actually, uh, okay. don't worry, this dialogue is actually good news for you. Ugh! What? I think it's the other way around, yeah. actually. What? No, okay, the narrator is also asking, yeah, what? Not oh, God. now! Shadow released his grip over the young girl, which died away from him. She noticed, however, his sudden change, his physical change. Uh, not now, Mephiles! Yeah, no. So, so, uh, Mephiles is our lord and savior in this. uh, Yeah, Madhog, Madhog, I'm taking this entire section, I'm digging a grave for it, I am burying it into the deepest parts of the earth where it cannot be salvaged, and then I'm going to blow it up with an ellipsis nuclear bomb. (laughs) Yes. I I, I hope it does not get worse than this, except that I read along. I had this tiny bit to the next paragraph, and it does. Oh, no. Really? Oh, no. Guess who we go back to? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I guess the theme of this chapter is try not to cringe. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, it's him. You know, you remind me a lot of my daughter. She was cute and tender, just like you. I killed her without remorse, using explosions of ellipses. And it was beautiful. I hope you mean ellipses. (laughs) The creature grinned evilly toward the frightened bunny in front of him. She was set on the grass, hugging her (laughs) knees. She was set like a movie set. The tracks of fresh tears still visible on her cheeks. No, I want to take you away from all this! <laughs> wow, so... Oh my gosh. From the frying pan to the hoven, essentially. Her eyes wide... She's six! Her eyes wide and unblinking were set on the ominous figure of her captor. The one who had killed her friend. The one who was slowly killing her hopes. Metaphorically. Tell me, is your mother cute as you are? You leave vanilla out of this! (laughs) I'd like to meet her some die. No, you can't have her. She's a very nice mother. Yes, she let her daughter no, she's like go the alone worst in mother in the world. You know how many times we had this discussion? <laughs> yes, I will still put down every single time. No <laughs> one lets their six-year-old go and fight a bad scientist. Just no. It's like sonic logic, I guess. He continued. She flinched, just like I am right now, a hundred times over. <laughs> she flinched a little and hugged her knees even tighter. Physically speaking, she hadn't been hurt or abused. Her mind, on the other hand... Awful mind games for reasons. Isn't this forest charming? One could die here, and no one would ever find the body. 
He loved mind games. Yes, mind games are the best, Undertaker! She wasn't even tied up yet. He didn't need to do it. <laughs> Ugh. Let's leave that particular fetish out of this. Yes. Uh, oh, well. Okay, so, say, wanna know the story behind this course? Said the oh, God, I can tell when this was written. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, can you tell it's 2008? Said the, yeah! said the fanged cowboy while showing Cream a set of scars previously hidden by his belly's fur. She was emotionless. He took it as a yes. It's an interesting story, actually. I'm an emo. Nah, <laughs> just messing with ya, kid. In truth, I had a car accident. Oh, wait, no. It was when I murdered that family of porcupines, or were they wolverines? Trat. I can't remember. Oh, well. It's not really important. Right now, I have other things to focus on. How am I going to vanquish those pesky freedom fighters, for example? Again, she didn't emit a sound. He fixed his canvas hat. Guess I'll have to improvise. Let my inspiration drives me. Oh, God. <sighs> Feel the happening of the moment. The happening! No! It's going to talk to the plants! <laughs> we don't mean you any harm. So when the main characters come and they ask him, Hey, did you do something to the bunny? He says, What? No! <laughs> what? No! <laughs> oh my god. That's what I'm going to do. If there's a thing that I hate, is planning all my actions. You know what? I despise people with plans, with their delusional beliefs in order and control. This world is driven by chaos, and I shall be its field agent. Why? Yeah, yeah. Why indeed? That's a very good but question. Why? <laughs> but, but why? <laughs> Because it's fun! <laughs> hmm? Why are you doing this? She finally found the words. He seemed amused by the question. <laughs> <clears throat> Why, you ask? Well, maybe for money. Maybe for ellipses. Maybe for explosions. Maybe for cake. Definitely mm -hmm. not cake. Mmm, strawberry shortcake. <clears throat> Although, now that I think about it, it's kind of a lame excuse. Let's just say that I'm doing it for fun. How is that even a better excuse than money? <laughs> money means you do it for <laughs> motivation. I guess it's a less typical excuse than just saying, I'm doing it for the money, dog. Okay, okay, Ross, say that again. Fun. Tearful, angry eyes accompanied her reply. Yes, fawn. With a capital F. He simply confirmed with a capital F. Now, shut up or I'll rape you. Fuck, fucking hell. <laughs> again, we had this conversation already. It doesn't mean it, but sh shite. She stood mute. Jeez. Six. She stood mute, even though she still didn't know what, I'm not saying this word, what that word meant. She didn't really want to discover it, so you shouldn't. Especially not from him. Okay, spoiler, uh, she will not find out. Well, you said this last time, but still, good freaking lord. I feel the need to reiterate some things, because one, it's been a while, and two, this doesn't get any easier <laughs> as it goes on. Yeah, well, I'm sure you're not dropping the whole thing with shadowing Amy, huh? Soul teasing? He turned to Goldblum just then <laughs> for that. 
Uh, um, okay, so uh, this new paragraph opens, oddly enough, with a letter. From guess who? Uh, it must be from the mayor. He's congratulating them on saving the day. They're going to receive a, a yes, golden yeah. statue as a recompense. And the uh, keys to the city. No, unfortunately not. To the local freedom fighters. If you're reading this letter, it means that you found the corpse in which this very item was in. You did it good so far. But now here comes the real challenge. You see, I have abducted the president's daughter. I mean, <laughs> a fine young girl. A bunny by the name of Cream, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, is your name Cream? <laughs> I'm going to go with yes. I kind of wish this was written here, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and for the end of this solar day, I'm going to kill her. Solar day? What the f Right before raping her, of course. Now, how could you ever avoid this tragedy, you may ask? Simple. I want the blue hedgehog. Why do I want him? Well, I'm afraid that that will remain my and my client's business. And he happened to be very pissed off for a while now. So let's make a deal, shall we? You give me the rodent, and I'll give you the other rodent, because I want the rodent that my client want me to get, because my client told me to get the rodent, and I'm going to get the rodent, because I am more Jojo! -Jo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It seems equal to me, don't you think? Let us meet in the place where all begins and all ends. Oh god, not a freaking riddle. This is the worst crime. <laughs> not just the implied rape. This is the worst thing. <laughs> don't try smart moves or she's gonna die. With sincere anticipation, yours truly, Fang the Sniper. P.S. Yes. This letter is written in blood. <laughs> what? Good to know! I, kind of, I actually wished I've written this using the red font color. That would make yes. visual sense. But still. We found it inside the slaughtered body of a mongoose nearby the city confines. The mother already knows. Man! <laughs> okay. Commented Sonic. My chaos. My, cha uh, my chaos. Unless you want me to be Knuckles. No, no, I'll take Knuckles. Uh, no. uh, you be Tails then, Ross. Okay. My chaos! Said Tails. Fucking bastard! Knuckles. Just Knuckles. <laughs> Not said Knuckles. Just Knuckles. Just accept that he said it. So who's the first one talking, Sally? Nice. I believe... Yes? Okay, so for this one, you dropped uh, <laughs> your who say what? <laughs> you know, I never fought any- We oh, only no. have a character that's been named here. You know, uh, actually, it's Rotor, of all people. Oh god, okay, yeah, reading head, yeah, it's supposed to be Rotor, but you have to introduce people okay. when they first- <laughs> Here's the deal, I never expected people would read- would read this out loud one day for a stupid parody show of reading from fictions. Uh, so I guess the joke's on me. Uh, you made this happen. <laughs> In I both know. senses of the word. <laughs> we don't know In who, both senses. We don't know who this individual is. There are no files, no information about him anywhere. He seemed came out of, from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I can see a few problems with that. <laughs> Mondo Problemo! Yeah, there's a lot more problems than, than Mondo, Sonic, oh? <laughs> An entire planet is not enough? Because that's what Mondo means. <laughs> Cream. Cream. Fucking mess! <laughs> um, this is Rodo again, I think. Actually, it's the police. Yeah. Uh, can I go now? Rodo is the police detective. Yeah, thanks for your help, mister. Rota, Rota Walrus, if you need anything, everything, don't hesitate in contact with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send my boys in help. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Rota? <laughs> this sent all of the help. I'll send 
<laughs> my boys in help. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, guys, I want to say we really needed this. Oh, this is a nice break. We did. Yeah, I needed this. Oh, oh my gosh. Back to shenanigans and bad grammar. Uh, okay. The wrong walrus. Goodbye, Boomer. I mean, Rhoda. Boomer? Oh, that's an in-joke no one's going to get. <laughs> okay, so originally the character was named Boomer, but they uh, um, renamed him um, quickly. So that was, like, dropped, like, immediately. Hmm, what's wrong with Boomer? I don't know. I, I guess they felt that since he's a mechanic, Rhoda would fit him better? I, I don't really uh, understand. Maybe they wanted to avoid the awful pun of Boomer sooner. Either that or uh, boomers and bombs. That was a thing. Wow. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see, where were we? Uh, also, we I think he was like a different color at first, much like how they changed um, Princess yeah, Sally's color. Everybody had a uh, different mm-hmm. character design at first. She used to be completely naked, and then she got a jacket, and by getting her a jacket, people started to notice that she was naked. So good job there. <laughs> good job there. She also was pink, actually, too. Yeah, she was yes, pink in the I original comic. That. Which is yes. weird, because if you see the opening credit sequence of the whole show, she had already the uh, jacket, blue jacket design that would be used later on. But in the first few mm-hmm. episodes, she had the pink character design, and I don't get that. Okay, let's just huh. continue with this reading. Uh, I believe we were... It was either greeted the polite Kitsune okay, or I was, I, was, I was after a goodbye, greeted the yeah. polite Kitsune. Man, yes. You were narrating, right? Oh yeah, I'm reading. Greeted the polite Kitsune, and Rotor greeted as well before leaving. Everybody greets. Salutations, hey, Americans! <laughs> the three of them were left alone, a few meters away from the point in which the body was found. Sonic, the blue object of the sniper's interests, Miles Tealsprower, the smart yet emotional fox, ch- the <laughs> fox soldier, and the local militia leader, Knuckles. Not a hologram, the red mauler himself. Also, plenty of ellipses. Yes, as always. What are we gonna do? Asked the very worried Kit. We're gonna find this Spangus the Slimer and kick his butt! Replied the enthusiastic blue idiot. Oh yes! A very smart plan. You came out with this idea all by your own? Oh wow, Knuckles trying to be sarcastic. Oh boy. As sarcastic as hell burns, Knuckles asked. Okay, yep. that was awkward. But um, the fact that you just basically wrote Knuckles as more intelligent than Sonic is like... I told you I was doing things a bit different. Yep. I'm the coolest plan maker in the land, my main Rastafarian. Rastafarian. <laughs> okay, this was a thing that was going on for a while in the Sonic fandom, in which people speculated if he was, you know, into reggae music because his dreadlocks and all that. Okay. Rastaf- okay. <laughs> Rastafarian? I'm a freaking kidder, you junkie pinhead! <laughs> I love you, Knuckles. Oh, the Red Air Warrior pointed his fist menacingly at Sonic's face. Whoa, 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 you're too near, man. Respect my vital space. And Knuckles was exasperated, not the only one, and turned his gaze to Tails. Tell, tell me again, what the hell is he doing with us? That's a very good question. Tails sighed. He's here because apparently our man has an interest towards him, and because the other guys are momentarily unable to be of some help. Tails the Exposition Fox! We've been on for years! (laughs) (laughs) The Cerulean Eyed One. The Cer. Oh god. The Cerulean Eyed One. (laughs) 
so clunky, just frowned in defeat. It was true ellipsis, the others wouldn't be helpful for the cause, at least not in their current state. The state of being standing there doing nothing. He looked back at the openly smirking face of the cobalt spiky rodent. Fine. Try no to be a damn burden. <laughs> Try no to be a damn burden. <laughs> you no burden, me knuckles. <laughs> me and no burden, worst... you knuckles. <laughs> me, you and Sonic. Then, and then the worst thing that's ever been written gets to be read. <laughs> I think everything else beforehand was worse than what you were going to oh, read. Oh, yeah? Next. Okay, so yeah. Knuckles says. I mean, so this Knuckles, is a terrible pun, but. Okay, so Knuckles says burden, and this is what Sonic says. A bordello? Where is it? laughed Sonic, thinking that it was funny. That is probably the biggest problem <laughs> with this character. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I, I get it. I get it. Chaos, give me the strength. Tails just sweat dropped, which is a verb, in case you didn't know. Yes. He was, he was <laughs> stalked. He was stalked. He was so stalked to go fighting this guy. Whoa, let's go fighting this guy already. And then we go to the rave party <laughs> with werewolves. Ow! Uh, he was stuck between a short tempered, pissed off, able, pissed offable guy who loved to punch before thinking and an hyperactive, carefree, mondo weirdo dude with a mouth faster than its feet. This was going to be a long day. Just like reading this fan fiction. <laughs> Get it out of the way. It necessitated for you to say it. Yes. So, okay, we'll have a break here, so. Who is next in the narration line? I believe Ross. Do I have to? <laughs> yes. Okay, so it has been quite a sight. The transformation. Cool. Maybe you can't help but wonder what the heck was wrong with him. I think um, everything yeah, else beforehand was wrong. In the mouth, but, you I know. can think of about 20 <laughs> things wrong with him at the moment. Bless you, Ross. Ross, read! <laughs> right, I, I, I had to stay, sorry! She witnessed the changes. What was standing in front of her was no longer the black and red hedgehog she used to know and fear. It was another being. It, it resembled was slightly more gray. <laughs> it resembled the shadow in every physical way, except some noticeable differences. Its fur was light black, almost gray, instead of pitch black. The once striped sign, his pointed quills were now a dull green, and finally his eyes were no longer crimson red, but green and feral, like a snake. It spoke with a deeper voice. Uh, ah, it's, it's good. good. Uh, okay. I, I thought it was me since last time. When yeah, well, we were doing that during our dialogue exchange, so I wouldn't have to... Do all the voices. Oh, okay. I I forgot to that part. <laughs> uh, if you want to be Matthew, by all means. Okay, I'll do, I'll do it. That's because... <clears throat> ah, it's good to be free again. I want to break free. Who are you? A rightful question. <clears throat> it looked directly at her with his menacing eyes and smiled. I'm Mephilus. Mephilus the Dark. It's a pleasure to properly meet you, Amy. He said while inclining in a polite manner, what? <laughs> <laughs> if, there's, if there's one thing you can count on Mephilus being... What thing, is that? I assume you mean responding, but that doesn't even fit. If there's one thing everyone in the Sonic fandom knows about Mephilus, he's a bloody good gentleman. Inclining? What is he supposed to be, a forklift? I meant to say bowing. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my. Okay. Mm. You! Yeah, I remember you. 
Oh god, how do you pronounce the name? Meth- Methylus. 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 Methylus grinned in a delightful way. I'm honored to be remembered by such a fine lady like you. And if our first encounter was brief and accidental. Incidental sounds better. They've met during her second encounter with Shadow in the dark wood. For <clears throat> remarkable reasons, the girl seemed to be other confused. Ah, uh, well, uh, here's a relatable emotion, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in what relation to this story. What happened to Shadow, and just, how's that even possible? Science! The Grey Hedgehog stood deep in thought for a second. Well, how do I explain this? Let's put it this way. Me and Shadow are two different beings that happen to share the same body and mind. So you're not two different beings. Usually he's the one in control, and I'm the one, let's say, imprisoned in the back of our mind. There are times, however, in which I assume control of the body, when his defenses are low, when he's distracted, and stuff like that. Moments <laughs> like this one. Stuff like that. It's supposed to be like a kid, I guess? A kid that kills people? Honestly, one side is a rapist, the other one is a genocidal. It's difficult to say which is worse. Both are equally yeah, as bad as each other. Moments like this one. Ross. Ross. Okay, sorry. Um, Amy gulped. Mephilus continued. Our minds are linked. Therefore, we can communicate with each other every time we want. In fact, He's talking to me as we speak. Oh, yeah? And what is he saying? She asked. Now more curios. Curios? The new cereals? New curio cereal. You can taste the regret. <laughs> curios, they make sure you ain't booty. Sponsored by the Queen Bee. Believe me. You don't want to know it. He's not happy from my intrusion in his business. Let's leave it at that. Wink. <laughs> uh. She nodded and giggled with refound confidence. I want to be giggling. Uh, uh, I know. <laughs> Mephilus, you know, in comparison to Shadow, Mephilus seems like a nice guy right now. Comparatively, yes. Comparatively, yes. Your smile. Your eyes. Yes. I can see why my brother was so interested in you. She stopped dead. Oh, thank God she died on us. <laughs> Yay! Your, Your brother shadowing you? We are twins, my dear. Shadow is not the only ultimate life form around here, you know. Okay, if he's not the ultimate, if he's not the only then ultimate, it's not the ultimate. <laughs> if he's only one of the ultimates, then it's not the ultimate. That's not how ultimate works. But maybe one of them is the penultimate, and then the other's the ultimate, and they switch. <laughs> but there's a prototype to the ultimate, but I mean. Um... I mean, if being ultimate was a tag team, I guess. <laughs> okay. Although in the end, he wasn't that ultimate, since he He was only a little bit ultimate. Second to last, mate, in fact. He wasn't that ultimate, since he fell in love with that human girl. Yes. What was her name? Ah, yes. Maria. Maria Robotnik. Robotnik? Robotnik? Coincidence? I think not. Indeed! I think she's somehow related with the good old doctor. 
No. Oh, gee, and why would you assume that? Not that it's important right now. Alright, you see, guys? It's not an important <laughs> plot point right now. Come back a couple of stories later, and maybe it becomes important. Maybe. Wanna know how she died? Uh, oh, Shadow, calm down! I wasn't really about to tell her! No, you shut up! You're so egotistical! No, you're a faker! Faker! <laughs> okay, okay, okay! I'm sorry! Happy now! Uh, okay, um... God damn it, why well, can't I remember how to pronounce the name? Like, literally, you're saying it all the time, it's just straining from my Methylus. mind. Methylus! Methylus. Uh, uh, Methylus, are you okay? The snake-eyed hedgehog crossed his arms and resumed his dignified, badass pose. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. It seems that that particular topic is a taboo. Therefore, I'm not going to reveal you the tragic circumstances of Maria's death. As a matter of fact... I shouldn't even talk about her in the first place. But there's one thing that you definitely deserve <laughs> to know. <laughs> it's back! Yes! <laughs> and now her curiosity had reached amazing heights. Amazing curiosity! Oh! What? What? Tell me, please! She pleaded like a schoolgirl while meeting her teenage idol. Oh no, she's going to draw Yahoi fan art of those two now. No. He smirked. It was a sinister smirk, by the way. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. I could have never imagined that a guy like that could have a sinister smirk. The reason of why is my brother is apparently obsessed with you. It's because you're very similar to her. Wait, did he try to do the same no, thing? No, 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 stop it, no, we're not going down this path. Um, everything, no. Me, similar to this human, how? Like, really, how? I don't know, maybe you're both 12? Uh, well, you have the same eyes. Same voice, no. Same personality, no. To be honest, you look like the hedgehog incarnation of her. It's truly amazing. I need an adult. I need a restriction order from myself. I need to get taken by Bob the Devil Man right now, I think. Bob the Devil Man... Please come to us, sign an agreement to have us erase the memory of this fanfiction from the internet. Ugh. She seemed a little taken aback by this, and now the worst lying. Oh, no! So, he wasn't just molesting me, <laughs> it was something more. What? <laughs> Mad Hog has turned into the Silent Hill Lob. The Silent Hill Siren. Mad Hog. Mad Hog. Once, I can't. W- once is enough. This is... I can't. I can't. I can't. No, I no. cannot either. No, no, no. Why? Why? <laughs> Why did that person, that's not me anymore, why did the person I want nothing to do with, did this? That person must have been the most miserable person in his age group, which he was, which he really was. My yeah. gosh. Yeah, uh, I can see that. Now, oh boy. now I have to go. Me and my brother have some unfinished business to attend. And, oh yes, I almost forgot. You wouldn't happen to know where your little fox friend is, do you? Tails? 
What do you want from him? I want you to like molest him too. God damn it, Ross! I was gonna make that joke. <laughs> Okay, you two, both of you, you need a break. Go to your corners. <laughs> this is very unbecoming of you. Well, I was making a <laughs> joke. Becoming a boss, okay. Well, because, well, because, well, you know, everyone on Fair Affinity would have made this joke and it would, it would have happened. You know, you are actually besmirching the good name of Fur Affinity by saying that. I know, I say but that with no irony whatsoever. I know, but I'm, I'm, it's, it's a small thing. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Just talk. No unnecessary harm. Something in that answer didn't quite convince the she-hog. I am running out of synonyms for hedgehog. <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, it's been a while since I've known anything. Okay, that is actually a funny line. <laughs> that is a very funny line because it's so true. I am completely useless now. <laughs> a truthful response along with an uncomfortable realization. I serve no purpose in this story. Other than to be Except fodder for awful, awful fetish fantasies. I see. <sighs> yep. I see. Well, no matter. We'll find him. Eventually. For now, farewell, my dear. May our paths cross again someday. Please never do. With that said, he bowed in sign of respect and then vanished into nothingness. Now, if only he stayed vanished into nothingness along with Shadow, along with Amy, along with Creed, along with Knack. Uh, uh, they knack all don't you mean Knacky? No, he no, said, said Knack the Weasel. Or oh, find the sniper. Being the sniper, if you would like that. Uh, yes, I'd like that very much. Okay. Slowly, Amy rose from the ground, literally and figuratively, and put on the rest of her dress, and with now on security, started walking towards the base. I would not be okay after that. No, I wouldn't um, be either. I am very, very concerned about the mental elf of 2008 Mad Dog. <laughs> Yes, there were a couple of friends that desperately needed enthusiastic cheers, and this time she would not surrender. Um, I think you're the first and foremost that needs an enthusiastic cheer. But anyway, me she sleep. turned her head one. <laughs> she turned her head one last time in the direction she came from. The wind gently caressed her face. She smiled a genuine smile. Thank you, Mephilus. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mephilus. Unlike Shadow, you're such a nice guy. She was a worthless, chubby nerd no more. Hold on a freaking second! Is this supposed to be the end of her arc? Is this supposed to be a cathartic conclusion to her arc, whatever it was? That seems to be what, what you wrote. What the hell is this? She does you not wrote it, you tell me. Let me recap, she does not get raped by her awful capture, because her awful capture turned out to have far more issues than she had, and uh, the secondary personality of her would-be capture reassured her that he's essentially a nice guy, really? And now she feels confident again? And again, I reference the Breaking Benjamin song. Put me to sleep, evil angel. <laughs> okay, I, so... Okay, mm, so... Mm. Okay, this is Shadow and Mephilus talking, by the way, this next bit. Alright, let's have a uh, fun, brotherly banter, I guess. The, the bold for you, Mad Hog, is the Shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> You make me sick. What? <laughs> I think you're more sick. <laughs> Sue me. Once I'll take control again, I'm going to ground you for the rest of eternity. Oh, come on. Just because I told her the truth. By the way, I think she's got a thing for me. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
That's wink wink. <laughs> oh god. Dude, we're gonna score. <laughs> yeah, like totally. Yeah, we're totally gonna get we're gonna be totally scoring with them checks. <laughs> Shut up, Bibis. <laughs> Shut up, butthead. <laughs> uh okay. Don't you dare to even think it if she would know about your true self. She would run away from the both of us. A girl. It burns to be wrong, eh, Shadow? But, uh, shut up! Mm. Oh my god. There is such a complete tonal dissonance in between their individual scenes. Yes. Yes. And it's like cobbled together to try and make it seem like it's a, you know, works, but no. <laughs> it really doesn't. Anyway, what's going on now? Uh, I think we're... we're oh, gonna... yeah. Oh, yes. Back to the champs. Hmm. The place where it all begins and all ends. I wonder what that could be. A terrible, lame conundrum be? to waste your time. That's what you have to figure out, Tails. You're the chaos damn genius here! Is it just me, or does it sound like Knuckles is sussing everyone all of a sudden? Oh, no, he I didn't! Does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You can stay out you know, of You can stay out of this room right now! <laughs> you know, uh, sad thing is that current Knuckles would totally do that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Said Knuckles. Oh, come on! Give the kids some space, Knucklehead! Sonic. Period. Knuckle! That's a sentence. Knuckle. Head! Did you, did you just call me Knucklehead? Oh, no, you didn't! That's it! I'm gonna <laughs> kill you right now! Oh, yes, I am! <laughs> he actually snapped his fingers. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actual fingers in Sonic Boom. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Um. That'll be tails, though. See. Okay. Will you two be quiet for a damn minute? Yelled a very distressed Kisune's. Uh, well, so let me start over. Yelled a very distressed. Dis ha! Freaking heck, what's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Yelled. Everything! <laughs> you just read what, what happened on the other page. <laughs> Yelled a very distressed Kitsune to a fighting cloud that was once a hedgehog and a kidna. <laughs> the other two stopped their death match while grabbing at each other's throat. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> Tails is next, actually. Look, I think I figured it out. The two rodents. That was easy. The two rodents stared at the fox with demanding eyes. Demanding eyes. Oh my! The place where it all begins and ends. I think it refers to the daily solar cycle. Just circle. say day. Just say day and night. Just say dawn and uh, dusk and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and dusk. Just say morning and and freaking twilight. Just say sun, day. Oh. Ah! Also, good. What does this actually help us? <laughs> Their bodies were saying yes, <laughs> but their expressions. Uh. But their expressions were saying spit it out for chaos six. <laughs> Tails' face deepened. Deepened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just imploded into his. <laughs> <It> just. <laughs> it's like it's like when like, deepened, you guys. He spontaneously <laughs> caved in, <laughs> like as if Goku just punched yep. him in the face. Seems legit. <laughs> okay. Okay. So dying is the beginning, and the sunset is the end. The only place Ugh. in the mystic ruins where you could see both. He took the proverbial long breath. It is where my previous home used to be, Great Cliff. Original name's trademark. Yay! 
Before any of them could say or do anything... We'll any... see, do not steal. <laughs> Before any of them could say or do anything in response of receiving informations... <laughs> Sonic <laughs> grabbed the other two hands and, without breaking a sweat, yelled... Got the rush, Kaz! Um, you, you, the, you, the, who, where's his cousin? It's, uh, an expression... <laughs> Yeah, but usually in the cartoon, it was whenever he said "cuz," it was to someone usually, usually a family member. <laughs> oh, he says usually it all the time. Tails. Yeah, uh, it's not his "cuz," so yeah, he just says it for the sake of saying it for the fandom. So for the fandom. So again, got a rush, "cuz," and he darted at lightning speed. Well, actually, I should say light. Ending speed toward the cliff with two screaming figures hanging at his arms. At the breakneck speed, the three of them became a giant multicolored blur, and the unmistaken sound of a sonic boom can be heard in all the country. And then they died. I hope. Uh, oh, look, there is a bit of a paragraph there for you to voice, the bar. It's your friend, the mysterious evil figure that we don't know about. It all begins when all of this shall end. Be ready, my child. Until then, let's enjoy the show. <laughs> And that's the end of chapter five. Yay! Okay, so that was again chapter five. We have a couple of chapters from the end, but we shall not be covering them tonight because Ross has prior engagements, but I'm sure we'll find the time soon enough or soonish. Uh, I have to say, <laughs> this past chapter was a bit of a doozy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it was awful. It was terrible. It was It was awful. somehow even worse than chapter four, and that was really bad. It's, it's, so, it's, it's, it's worse than all the bad chapters combined. <laughs> you know, I thought the absolute worst would have been chapter eight of the previous story, but boy, was I wrong. <laughs> And I did not yes. even remember any of this ever happening or being written. So that should tell you a story or two. Yes. Which is the next chapter of Tales and Sonic. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think, oh. I think Ross needs to refuel his humanity. You should, you should feel bad if you do not already. Ross, what do you think? What do you think I feel about thinking that I once wrote all of this? What do you think I would feel knowing that there once existed a uh, version of me that was actually proud of writing this tribe? What do you think anyone would feel in my shoes? Um, a shame. I don't know. It all depends on the worldview, I guess. A shame, well, I'd say. Yeah, I feel ashamed. I feel dirty. I feel, quite frankly, embarrassed. And not even making fun of it could possibly uh, salvage my shame for this. I had no idea. I mean, I had no recollection of this being that awful. Honestly, I thought it was going to be bad, just, you know, worth a chuckle or two, but it turns out it is legitimately upsetting at times. Yes, yes it is. But, I mean, you have learned, you have grown, and, you know, that's the most anyone can oh, wow. for themselves, I guess. Oh, wow. Thanks, Grandpa Ross, for <laughs> a moral lesson in patronizing. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> don't. Don't. Just don't. We will read your stories at some point, so you better hope they are not as bad as this one. If I can find them. <laughs> 
I don't well, know. In that case, you better hope you don't find them. I don't know why, but think of Grandpa Ross. I can't help but think of him with surrounded by his waifus and <laughs> and <laughs> you know, and have a oh, D and yeah, have I... a D and D dice just to go like, well, kids, time to know the moral of today's lessons. <laughs> uh, he sits down with his nephews, uh, with his grand nephews, and tell them, "Hey, kids, did I ever tell you of how I met your mother? As in my waifu?" <laughs> Maderu? <laughs> How do you say? Maderu? <laughs> Ma- 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 <laughs> did I did I ever tell you the story of how I met your Maderu? <laughs> is that even a thing? No. <laughs> I hope it isn't. I hope to God it isn't. Anyway, like I don't think uh, it's a thing, but I don't know. <laughs> So this has been terrible and everything. I hope you had a good time listening to my moral demise. See you next time, folks. Next week we shall reprise our regularly scheduled Team Yume podcast, hopefully, if no further trouble arise. And in that instance, we will go back in discussing nice things, intellectually stimulating things, Yeah, not... Nice, from fictions. Nice things exist. Yes, nice, nice things, things do exist. Still exist. Really? Because I, I <laughs> no, I, I never heard of such a thing. Oh, shut up, Ross! You're getting Persona Five in a few days. <laughs> right then. So I guess that means we should just leave here and pretend the corpse of this fan fiction does not exist. This chapter should not exist. Uh, yes. <laughs> This oddly mongoose-shaped bloody corpse with a letter written in blood that says... P.S. This is written in blood. Thank you for noticing. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Redundancy. That too. Oh boy. Okay. Good night, everybody. I need a peel or two. (laughs) Yes. Good night. Take care of yourselves. Oh! These naturals must be on some sort of peel! There's no way they would write something this terrible. And a reprisal of fire und Wasser kommt zusammen, kann ich binden. This rave totally rocks, dude. <laughs> okay, I'm stopping the recording here. Yeah.